All right, uh, today we'll just briefly talk about the dreaded skidding base to final turn. Um, it sounds a lot scarier than it is. Uh, it's a bit overblown. It's not that big of a deal. You're not automatically going to stall the airplane um, and crash it. But it's something to be aware of and it's something that you should um, be familiar with in case you find yourself uh, overshooting that, that base to final turn and, and really cranking in that bank. It's just something to keep in the back of your mind. Um, so picture this, you're flying along, uh, you turn base, there's a, there's a crosswind at the airport, you turn base, you realize that you're gonna overshoot the runway, so you crank the airplane over, you bank the airplane over, you figure you need a little bit more help, so you're gonna step on that bottom rudder, the nose goes down, you pull back even more, loading up the wing, you exceed the critical angle of attack on this wing here, and you put yourself into a spin, uh, a stall spin. Um, and the reason why it's so dangerous is because you have all of that yawing going on and the stall itself is bad enough at six, 700 feet, but would you throw that yawing in there and you're gonna put yourself into a spin? Because um, the bottom wing has an increased angle of attack more so than the top wing. So all that drag is gonna pull the wing down and around. And that's why you have such an aggressive, violent um, spin down low, which is pretty much unrecoverable because you're so low. And you know, the reason why the airplane uh, rotates like that and doesn't just turn is that the inside wing, again, it's at a greater angle of attack than the outside wing. So what's gonna happen is that causes the inside wing lift to reduce compared to the outside wing, but it also increases the drag compared to the outside wing. So what happens is that causes the inside wing to continuously be pulled down and back, right? Uh, Cause all that drag compared to the outside wing. This is all caused by the yaw. Remember we talked about how yaw is the dangerous thing. It's not so much uh, not being coordinated. So just something to be aware of, and there's a couple things you could do. Uh, what I like to do on majority of my, my downwind base final turns, when there's not a lot of traffic in the pattern, is I like one constant rate descending turn all the way around uh, till final. Do that uh, in the Airbus, a lot of turbine aircraft do that, transport category airplanes do that, rather than square off the, the base to final. Um, some people don't like that because if there's traffic in the pattern and the wing's down the whole time, you can't really see what's going on there. Um, I mean, you could remedy that by just, you know, leveling off for a second, seeing what's going on and continuing. Um, or if you strictly want to stay to, to squaring off your, your base to final turns, that's fine. Um, and if you overshoot final, I mean, really, just what do you do? Just go around and try it again. Or know that you could go from, you know, if the air runway's over here and you're over here, rather than really crank over the bank, just fly right towards the runway and accept the fact that you're pretty much on a uh, somewhat of an angle from your 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 rollout on base to final not a big deal um but really the easiest safest thing to do is just go around um so again a bit overblown but just something to be aware of